called Negro, he ain't got the respect yet. Right. They don't have the respect. All right. Yeah. These, these nations don't have the respect for us. But guess what? All of that respect is gonna be. <laughs> we gonna man, we gonna get a thousand times more respect than what we got now. Yeah. The little respect that we got in shit in comparison to what we doing right here. So read that verse again, brother. Right, let me go back to this. Uh, Isaiah 60 and 14 <coughs> and it says the sons of them also that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee Right, so your boss that used to tell you what to do that used to walk all over you He's gonna be bound before you. You're gonna be his boss all right? And more so because you're gonna have the power to right. whip that ass and he's gonna be able to do nothing about right, it right. You're gonna have the power to stomp his face in yeah. and he's gonna have to wake back up and get back to work the next following day All right, you're gonna have the power to pretty much break his fucking neck huh. or break his neck. All right, go on, brother. And, and all you just they, gonna have to put up with it, man. And all they that despise thee, thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And that's what's gonna happen. They gonna bow. They gonna bow down to the soles of thy foot. So as it stands right now, these Edomites and these different nations, they got their level of pride, mm. and they would never ever bow before the Israelite man. But they're gonna have to because in the, in the book, in the scriptures, it talks about how. Every what is it? Every tongue he shall bow before the Lord. He talks about that, and the Lord when he comes, it's going to be declared that he's a so-called Negro. Now, when he does come back, we're not going to see him as a, as a figure of man because he's going to come as an angelic force. But when he comes back down here on earth, it's going to be declared that the Christ that everybody talks about in a false fashion is a so-called Negro that mm -hmm. that died on the cross. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, go on, brother. Second Corinthians four seventeen. Oh, yeah, yeah, let them finish that. Come on. All right. And it says, and they and they shall call the and they shall call thee the city of the city of Yahweh, yeah. the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, yeah. Yeah. whereas thou hast been has been forsaken and hated, so that no so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, right. a joy of many generations. So that's that respect, that's that ultimate eternal respect, man. The Sheikh talk about respect, we gonna get the respect. Yep, yep. Okay, this is a part of fighting for our respect. But we're winning still, we're winning because this truth is gonna, if this, this truth represents, what is it, the good and righteousness. And righteousness always wins anyway. So we've already won, technically. We just gotta see if they're gonna do it. One thing real quick, and that's why they say even in the workplace, like, every single time, being, being an Israelite, you're always, you're working harder than everybody else. But when their promotion comes and all that stuff, they overlook you. The other guy, the lazy guy gets promoted over you, you know? Because I was in a job once, but I worked hard, you know? That's, that was my thing, man, like, always, was always in a, in a higher gear than everybody else. Uh -huh. And then eventually, I kind of, you know, a little promotion came my way, and then before the promotion, people respected me. And then when I got that position, nobody, no one was happy with that job, man. Yeah, because they didn't want to exalt you. Yeah, they didn't want nobody to was happy. People stopped telling you to say, you know, ah, he's telling me what to do again, you know? Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't like the idea of me being in that position where I had to tell them what to do. Mm. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Just read this book. Deuteronomy 28 and 43 says, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. You know, this, and it just goes to show you, you you're gone. You know what I'm saying? It's the stranger. The strangers talk about the other nations. Another word for stranger is what? Gentile. <laughs> you when you read on, um, was it James? Was it Peter? Chapter one, verse one. To the strangers that are scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia. All right. Well, that was talking about Israelite foreigners. But another word for stranger is what? Gentile. All right. Heathen. It said that the heathens or the Gentiles will get up above us very high. And we shall be what brought down very low. So where 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 the dirt? Why do you think so many brothers are single, man? Because you know even our own women respect us, man. You get what I'm saying? You gotta fight for your respect. You walk on the street, our uh, uh, racial profiling. You know what I'm saying? There's footage of Jake's being harassed by police, and it's refusing to take it from the police because they're sick and tired of being harassed by by yeah. feds, man. Yeah. Number one guy, there's one footage of they they want. He's got his hands in his pocket. He's like, he's like, I won't take my hand off. Right? Alright? So some jakes are sick and tired, man, of being disrespected to the point where they fire back at the policeman. Yeah, they shoot yeah. back at the 
Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they get to that point. Yeah. 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 They get to the point where they fight. They, they look at the feds as though they're the enemy, man. Yeah. They're just another gang. Yeah. That's, that's how they look at They don't look at it like, oh, we got to respect them. You know, Romans 13, or the powers that be off them. But they don't give a fuck about that. They're like, this is, we're going to fight for our lives, man. But they, 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 they want to kill us, man. All right? Yeah, yeah. So some Jakes are tired They'll fight back, even at the workplace. You will fight you for your respect there. You know how many times I've had to leave my job because of fucking eating my a woman enjoy the time, man. Abusing her power. Well, you know women, man. And I, I'm the hardest work. I'm the hardest worker there. Yeah. She uh, you know had to leave um, JD Sports. But I was the hardest worker there. And um, she was she was um not giving us our money, man. Yeah, At the man. end of the week, she would she would take off like fifty pound. Yeah. And you look and think, hold on, I, I worked, I worked three days. Where's the rest of my money? They said, oh, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it back. She ain't giving it back, man. You know, to the point where you have to go to HR and buy it, and then she got exposed, and then she wound up leaving. You know what I'm saying? So you have to fight for your respect in everything that you do, man. Even when you're dealing with a woman, you got to fight for your respect in that, man. Yeah, it's constant disrespect. We've been brought down for it, but if you check Esau, Esau ain't, ain't fighting like yeah, that. Yeah, because he ain't got a fight for anything. He's already in, the, in that, that step. He's born into respect, man. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah man, this, this is really bad. But yeah, brothers, we gotta stay in the streets, it's bad. I was gonna get something. Um, yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Uh, if you give me Job, Job chapter 1, verse 6. It says, now there was a day when the sons of Yahweh came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Right, so you had all the spirits of the Most High, because they're the sons of the Most High. They're, they're the creations of the Most High. So they're the sons of the Most High. They're, they were begotten of the Lord, right? So even Satan was there. Where? And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Right. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and walking from and walk, and from walking up and down in it. Right, right, right. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? A perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh and escheweth evil. Right, this is Job. Alright? Job, Job represents Israel. He was an actual man, but we can use the, the characteristics of Job, his persona as like a physical or metaphoric representative of the nation of Israel. Read that again, read that part again. It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, As thou considered my servant Job. As thou considered my servant Job. Are we not the servant of the Lord? Jacob is the servant of the Lord. He even says that in Isaiah, Jacob my servant. Thou hast grown weary of me. Alright? Go on. He says that there is none like him in the earth. There is none like him in the earth. The scripture <coughs> says, um, he was like unto Israel, man. The portion of Jacob is not like them. We're the form of all things. Alright? Here it is, we're in the lowest state, but we're still, we got a talent that the other nations can't deny. These other nations, they can't deny us, man. They can't deny us. That's why. That's another reason why they hate us. Because they're not us. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing to be us. But the joy of our people that are not awoke to this truth, they don't see that. Because the Mosai hasn't brought it to their knowledge who they really are. All right? So even Jake, in his unconscious estate, is still talented above the other nations, even though he's unconscious to who he is. Go ahead. This is a, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth Yahweh and escheweth evil. That's, that's Jake. That's, the, that's us, the Israelites. If you go to, um, if you go to um, Genesis 25, Start verse 21 it tells you that um, Jacob was 
So plain man, the word in intense. Now if you look up the word plain, that's exactly what you're gonna find written, man. You're gonna see a perfect, upright, all right? Moralistic. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. He's getting it, he's getting it. Yeah. Well, you're looking up the definition. Oh, you're looking up the definition? Okay. Alright. So that, right, we're reading about Job. But you see how Job was described? The most I described Job. That's us. See, there's nothing upright about Esau, the so-called white man. There's nothing, uh, uh, this man don't fear. A God? You don't fear God. Once you pass laws for gay marriages, that's all right, man. You don't fear. You don't got no fear of judgment. Yeah, the word is um tam, a tam. Not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it says perfect, complete, right. one who lacks nothing in physical strength, beauty, etc. Right. Sound yeah. and wholesome. Right. 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 You hear that? Morally and ethically pure. Morally and ethically pure. Complete, morally innocent, having integrity. That is See, that's, that's like, well, and you know who, who read that? See, the, our ancestors didn't write that. Esau read that. The, 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 yeah. Esau read that. So Esau knows us, man. So, so <laughs> that's deep. That is actually deep. Esau has been, Esau knows our nature. That That's definition, that was written by the prophets. Esau read that, man. Read, 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 that, read that, read that. This is what Esau read about us. Esau knows the true origin of He knows that we're not criminals and, and innately violent and three fifths of a human being and gangsters and thieves. Esau knows who we really are, man. Before I read it, can I just say, just to make the point, because that's why they push that that bullshit rap music and all that gangster yeah, yeah, yeah. rap because yeah, yeah. it, it creates evil in the yeah. in us man it creates evil in the streets they're trying to they want to emulate what they hear on the record and all that bullshit they want to go out and sell the drugs and shoot each other and, and you know, sleep with each other's women and all that bullshit they're, they're trying to they're trying they have to, to force it on us you know what I'm saying and that's why the make says, to make us be and just about what you're saying that's why the scripture says the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor yeah, 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 yeah. you see that Exactly. The way of Esau is seducing us into an unseen new man of man. Yes. We're not, we're not naturally like that. We, we, so yeah, the word is uh, to arm, to arm it must be, to arm. This, this is, this is on Genesis, you, you got, what you got? Uh, Romans 10, 1. You go read, read, um, read the verse that you got that out. It's just for the, um, the sake of um, edification. Mm -hmm. let, let him read that then. The woman was white like snow. Let me know what we're reading that. Kill it. As Genesis 25 and 27 and it says and the boys grew and Esau was a cunning hunter a man of the field and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents yeah exactly that's the verse that we're getting this word out from it says Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents right because you know Jake Jake has to stay in the ends man he glorifies the ends you know the area where he lives at and everything he, he's very young um, Reserved, man. You know what I'm saying? He's not really that explorative, Come like Esau. Esau gets out there. If, yeah. he, you know that's why you have jackets called the North Face, Come mountain, you know, mountain clothing. You know what I'm saying? All them clothes from the mountain and everything like that. But that's what he glorifies. Him. He glorifies the field. He's animalistic, man. He's got the animal. The, the true nature of Esau is animalistic, man. Yeah. Like uh. And I don't put the two brother, but I may say one thing. Don't you should go on top. 
Yeah, because you know in Liverpool, right? Because I used to be up in Liverpool, you know, scouts them. A lot of those people, they haven't even moved outside of England, man. A lot of them just stay in that one little spot, and that's all they know. You know what I mean? A lot of them don't even travel, so that's why we always say, you know, in Great Millstone, that you got, like, the um, um, Apostle Bar, he did a video about um, this one guy, this actor. This English actor, right? And um, his father was actually um, so-called West Indian. Okay, he looked like a shut up Edomite. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's Jake, like the brother's saying, you got a lot of Jakes. They just still, they, they don't really, you know, they don't really get around like that. They just, if they're, if they're comfortable in that, that spot, they're going to stay in that spot. You know what I mean? You, you could also say that it's because of lack of money and finance is why we just stay. You know, they just they stay in Because of that, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, because if Jake has money, he'll buy him for some fancy car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still in his mom's house, the yeah. bedroom there, he'll buy some fancy ass car. You put an elephant in his back garden. <laughs> you know, Jake is crazy, man. Pimped out rims and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, giraffe and stuff. Rhino. Lions is lions. Gold teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, a, like that mountain, Kilimanjaro and all that stuff. A lot of people die going up that mountains, but it's pays a lot of a lot of money just to climb that mountain. What the dead bodies that are there? Everywhere, though, man. Right. They want it to be known to be everywhere. They have to have everything. You know what I mean? That's, that's their nature. They want to be out there. Home. Yeah, that's what they say. It's like called it. like being a dead of, You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's it? Dropping out of the sky, which which you yeah. call yeah. it? Um, Paragliding, yeah, base, base jumping, and ice yeah, yeah. tool that funny enough. But it's be I got it for me, so. You know, the, the seas, yeah. you know, the first man to swim the ocean, the first man to do this, oh. the first man to do that, the first man to stay up climb Mount Everest. You know what I'm saying? He's very in tune with the animals, also, man. Alright, he's very animalistic. He's oh. How do you think he took down the nations to do by being a complete enemy? Right? I just wanted to say, not to contradict you on the flip side of the animal thing, they're destroying them. They're destroying them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they're, on the left hand side. Yeah, they're, 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 they're the main cause of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they're doing the thing because the, the, the bees. They come from. Are, from. Are, yeah, the bees are being wiped out. Yeah. When was the last time you actually saw bees, man? Yeah. You don't see them no more. Wasps, you don't see them no more. Especially in the city. You don't see them no more because you know how the pollution is wiping them out, man. What wildlife is dying underneath the hand of the so-called white man? Yeah. He represents death. That's right. That's right. He's the. He is death. You know, he is. The, he is the devil that the Bible is talking about. All right. The man he nearly wiped out the bison, man. Mm. In America. Yeah. Just to get out of the native Indians, he nearly wiped out the uh, and then, then we get into Esau, we're talking about JK. When I get into Esau, I don't like Esau. Like you read how the plain man doing the tips, right? Yeah, so once again, yeah, so it's uh, would you say the word actually this is the Maya. So we'll say to Maya. Uh, it says perfect, complete. Right. Uh, one who lacks nothing in physical strength and beauty. Etc. So Esau knows this about us. He knows that we're perfect. Yeah. He knows that we're complete. That's why they envy us, man. Yeah. They envy our melanin. They envy our strong features. You know, the, our genetics, man. We got powerful genetics. Can I just say? Oh, and, and, and this is us in our our low state. Mm. They're in their glory state. We're in a low state. The brother done the video. Brother quite come from the. Central, we done a video. Um, true power, comma, 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 comma. Goes into it. He says that the reason why we, we want the most eyes um, humiliating this now, so that when we get that true power, we're going to be like gods on the earth. He breaks it down, but you know, slack it off, you know. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is our, our lowest state, but that's to glorify the most high as well. You know what I'm saying? So, this is in our state where the most has taken power from us. We're still seen as gods to by the other nations, man. Right? Even in our lowest state, yeah. Even in our lowest state. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because uh, again, what? When they, when that thing, the human, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, what to call that man? I think they are the, the harvesting body parts from uh, 
like they'll kidnap somebody, they yeah. take their body parts out. Yeah, right. Number one people though, Kendrick Kendrick Johnson, the well known example. Yeah, yeah. West Indies or West Africa, man. Israelites. Yeah. Offering them jobs and then when you go there, they, 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 they hit you something on top of your head. Blow. Take your body parts out. If you're you not know? protected by the Mosai. Yeah, but they were particularly going to Israelites. Because they know they, they know this yeah. about us. They know this about us. Now this is the Bible of the people that study the our records. The people that go into our, our records, they know say that they've been stuck they've been studying us like crazy, man. Right? For a long time. What do you think they were doing in slavery? What do you think they were doing in slavery? They show you that in that movie, Goodbye Uncle Tom, where they had us in the cages. 